I like how they just bunch together so I can just sit here and just pelt them with arrows. I don't know what's down here, but I'm just gonna attack like uh, there's someone here. Am I helping? Am I helping, fellas? I'm gonna do something drastic. And welcome back to Zoltaeus Gaming Channel. I'm your host, Zoltaeus. Here with another episode of Mountain Blade 2 Bannerlord. So, uh, a bit's happened like normal, you know, for all of these episodes. Uh, in between recording sessions. Uh, the biggest is probably that if we were to look at this map, you would notice that only one place is actually angry with me, and that's... The Batanians. Well, there's a reason for that. Um, I actually went over here. I uh, I took. Well, and, and you you guys saw me uh, take Amprella. Uh, I went up, took Cirrhotos, Epinosa, Urxala, and Dinar. And those weren't particularly exciting. What was, though, weirdly enough, as I was doing all of this, three of the minor clans were... Uh, the heads of, the, of three of the minor clans were literally right next to each other. And just because I wanted a little extra help in that region, because as you, like if you were to actually look at diplomacy you'd see that Batania had 99 successful rate. I think like that's literally the limit. I don't, I don't think it can actually show any more than that. Well, the problem that it was, was having, and this is one of the reasons why uh, one of the big things on here about making peace, you have to pay them if they do so many successful raids, is because it was cutting off my food supply. So I was going to towns and I, there was no food to buy. So, you know, armies were, you know, starving, things like that. And so I said, all right, I need some extra help preventing these raids. So all three of those minor uh, clans I managed to run into, and I convinced all of them to, to join my side. Well, as I convinced one, less than a game day, not even a real day, but less than a game day uh, in here, which, you know, for, for you guys, if you hit this button, you know, fast forward... It's the equivalent of like 30 seconds. As I moved on to the next guy who was, it wasn't too far away, but you know, you have to chase him down, right? Uh, as, right as I reached the second minor clan, the first minor clan that I, that I managed to hire left. So I managed to get the second minor clan to join and not even halfway on my way to the third minor clan, the second minor clan left. Like, I, you know, considering how we have to go, we have to actually chase them down, convince the leader to change. There was no one around that leader. That leader was actually following me, and he just turned red in the middle of me chasing down the other. And so the, uh, the loyalty... Uh, system in here for minor clans is seriously broken and I think the only reason why I have kept my vassals is because they're actually a part of a mod like I didn't actually hire any of the other uh, vassals from other kingdoms or other uh, minor or major clans within the game I actually created my own through a mod and I think that's the only reason why these guys have stayed. Any of them have stayed. And so uh, I did some research on this because I was getting, I was actually getting really mad about that. And so I did some research and uh, a lot of people were experiencing this. So they suggested another mod that uh, kind of changes how 
loyalty and all that kind of stuff works within the game. So now if clans don't have a reason to leave, like say, uh, for instance, if I were to go at war with the Western Empire and I turned one of his, his clans, uh, you know, obviously not his family, but if I went to his clan, you know, he would have that. They have all of these clans. So if I went to this clan and I talked to Miloch and got him to turn to my side, he wouldn't immediately turn back to the to the Western Empire specifically because my strength is so much better than his that he would have to seriously take that into consideration or, and any clan that I turned would would have a problem going now to the Western Empire but you also have to have high loyalty well as you guys know I released how many prisoners over the last several episodes and all of the times in between episodes so I've built up quite a rapport with a lot of clans so when I downloaded that mod and found out that it actually works because a lot of mods that you download if they're old or they're not up to the you know current uh, version of the game they may have some issues and they may break the game well this mod did not and because of that I now have several uh, clans so I was able to turn the Benny Zalal uh, you, you know the guy with some the guys with some radical hair uh, I finally got embers of the flame I got the Kara Garrett uh, and I uh, see so these are several of my uh, actually these are several of my vassals but I managed to to turn a few uh, Kazate clans uh, you may you may recognize some of those names but uh, the nice thing about getting some of these clans is that they have multiple people and while I was doing that um, I was also over here taking, uh, you know, some of these places. But weirdly enough, because I took the Kergit clan from the Kuzate, I actually acquired this place. Now I don't, I, I didn't plan on holding on to it until I realized that literally all of my towns were being raided all the time. And I didn't have any food, so I had to make a decision. So uh, the decision was made that I make peace with all but one clan. And unfortunately for the Batanians, they've caused the most uh, they've caused the most raid damage out of all of them. So now it's time to take our anger out on the Batanians. Uh, that was a long rant, but uh, I needed to explain the situation. Uh, so we're going to start with a siege of Mechalavia Castle. Uh, let, let's, let's hope we get some entertaining uh, footage out of this because I've literally just talked your guys' ears off for about eight, about eight minutes now. So let's do this. All right, so they've put together a pretty decent army. But they are about of equal stature to me, and they're actually going to attack. So this ought to be entertaining. Ah, uh, yes, Caladog. So the uh, the leader of the Batanians comes to visit me. He's obligated to give me a chance to grovel for for my life. That's uh, that's nice of him. I think you should surrender, man. You know how this is going to go. I've defeated you how many times now? Even your guy over there was concerned. Let's do this. I'm not going to... I'm not going to tactics cheat on this one. That's the actual leader of the Batanians. I'm going to capture him. Man, I'm just not finding any of the commanders here. And how did that guy just straight stop me? None of the commanders. Man, and these guys wanted to take, like, they were excited to take the field against me. 
I mean, it's not like I'm not taking any losses or anything, but man, it is not going the way they wanted. Not even close. Yeah, I only lost 19 guys. 22 may have been injured, but I only lost 19. Yeah, considering how many we killed, I don't know why they were so excited about taking the field against us. Let's see if another army can materialize before. It looks like, oh, it looks like it will. All right, guys. You guys want to end up like the, uh, the last party? Go ahead. Oh, no, they're really debating now. They don't know if they want to do this or not. They said, never mind. <laughs> Which is fine. It gives my wounded a chance. Oh, no, never mind. Look at that. We might actually have a challenge on our hands. Oh, wow. There's really that many, huh? This is going to be rough, boys. Gotcha. Finally, I got that guy. I've been chasing him for a while now. One commander down. What? How is that even possible? How does a how does a person stop a horse like that, especially one that didn't have a spear? I call shenanigans. We got a lot of them running away here. Let them run away. Time to go get some more horse horses or cavalry. I was about to say horse archers, but uh, who knows how many of those are left? That's a lot of cavalry. Oh. Wh that guy just was able to shoot me off my horse. All right, so we managed to come out on top, but uh, we, we, we took a lot of losses. Uh, I went down in that, but uh, uh, somehow we managed to pull through. It's going to be... This is going to be a rough siege because a lot of my guys are injured. I may actually sit here for a little bit to, to let them... Uh, get a little bit better but yeah uh, I heal up pretty quick because my my medical skill is up but I am not the actual doctor for the clan so uh, it's not based on my skill uh, I think I think we should be good about here so we're gonna go ahead and lead this assault so let's hope that uh, I don't go down again and we don't lose this siege just because uh, sieges, they're calculated differently. Oh man, people are falling off there like crazy. I like how they just bunch together so I can just sit here and just pelt them with arrows. I obviously need a different weapon. What is that? Oh, is that what I think it is? Oh yes. Come on, guys. I'm trying to get out of your way here. Ooh, yeah. I like this weapon. Finally got a two-hander again. If you guys have problems up here, let me help. With my massive two-hander trying to go into small spaces. I'm sure it'll work just fine. I'm just whacking away. <laughs> They're not doing anything. Uh-oh. Looks like we finally broke in their lines. All right. Time to play guard. For some reason, this place is just randomly on fire. Like, nowhere else is on fire. Just this place right here. Everyone is just filtering in there. What's going on? Um, we having a party in here? Why wasn't I invited? I'm the the leader of this, you know, clan. I I should be invited to these things. What? Uh, I don't I don't know what's happening here. I'm assuming there's someone stuck somewhere and they're having problems getting to him, but uh maybe they think they're wow, look at that. Look at that guy up there. He's he's bouncing. They are so packed. Oh, man. They are so packed in there. Like, maybe they think their collective, like, yelling and screaming will, uh, will help. 
maybe they think it will overpower them so much that they pass out or something. I don't know. But this is strange. I'm afraid to try to get in there. I don't know what's down here, but I'm just going to attack like uh, there's someone here. Am I helping? Am I helping, fellas? All right, I'm getting out of here. I, I, there's too many people yelling. That guy's just trying to walk through the window. All right. Is this battle ever going to end? There's this one guy that's still trying to fight that we can't get to. <laughs> hey, there you go. You're welcome. Oh, I found the back way into this room. Literally, my entire army is here now. I'm going to do something drastic. See if it works. Because I'm not going to sit here forever. That's what I thought. It's really sad that I had to kill myself, so to speak, in order to get them to figure out who, who was where. All right, well, it worked. That's all that matters. All right, well, ranting and raving aside about uh, vassals and the like, I, say that, I would say that was pretty successful. We're going to go ahead and stop it here because now uh, with the next episode, we can just go on a rampage uh, instead of me explaining everything to you guys. So, that'll do it for this episode. Like and subscribe for more content. And as always, I will see you in the next video. Thank you.